What's going on today, YouTube? All right, so today I have another e-juice review for you. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I am sponsored by a company called Vapor Kick, and they have a phenomenal line of juices with a huge variety of flavor at an extremely affordable price. And they are under new ownership now, and we'll be doing a relaunch here, I think, over Memorial Day weekend. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if that date will change or not, but... Um, to my understanding, it is going to be over this coming weekend. So anyways, I have been vaping on these juices for a while so I could get a good understanding of the flavor profiles and what I'm vaping. Um, it took me a while to get this video up just because there are so many flavors and trying to figure out how to keep the video into a manageable allotted amount of time was pretty tricky. So what I'm going to do is I will insert a picture at some point in this video of all the juices in their labels so you can see that, um, but just to kind of keep time down into a manageable amount, I'm just going to drip them and it describe their flavor and then you can see a picture either sometime in the beginning or after, or you can just go on my Instagram and you can see it there too. So I have coils in here and I've already dripped on here Honey Hive, which is a honey flavored vape and it is delicious and let's give it a taste. Okay, so this juice is really good. It has a very true to life honey clover flavor. Did I say that right? Clover honey flavor. It doesn't have that artificial honey taste to it. It has a clover honey taste to it. I don't know if that is what a lot of people have in their area, um, but predominantly around here in the northern Midwest, clover honey is very easily accessible. And we actually have a lot of bee farmers around here that make clover honey. So um, it was kind of cool to have an e-juice in that flavor because I've tasted the real stuff and it actually does taste like the real stuff. There is a small hint of vanilla to me in this. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I get the clover honey and I also get a little bit of a vanilla aftertaste with it. It's a very easy vape. There's not too much going on in it. It's just a very nice, subtle flavor. Not overly powerful honey, because sometimes I've had a couple other honey vapes where it's just, ugh, I can't do it. I can't vape it for too long because it's just so sweet. But this one is very subtle on the sweetness, but you do get a lot of flavor with it. It's really good. Okay, so that is Honey Hive. And the next one I am going to vape for you is Cookie Dust. And this one smells like a sugar cookie with cinnamon on it. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the flavor profile for this is a snickerdoodle cookie. So pretty much spot on. It smells really good. It smells like a box of sugar cookies. Okay, so let's paint this on. Make our happy cookie clouds. And let's vape. Okay, so with this one, you definitely get a cookie flavor. You get a strong sugar cookie flavor in the inhale, and then on the exhale, you get a little bit of a butter note with cinnamon. It's really smooth. The flavor profiles are very well mixed. I find this one to be better in a tank for me, just personal preference. I prefer this one in a tank. This one I could easily vape all day. I don't find it to be overwhelming or overly sweet. It's just a really good cookie flavor without too much going on in it. It's really good. And it doesn't leave, I've had a couple of cookie flavors that leave an aftertaste. And this one does not do that. So I, I really enjoy it a lot. Okay, so the next one is Bakery Blues. Oh, you guys, seriously, this juice smells so good. 
Okay, so I don't know. I'm probably dating myself here, but there used to be a cereal called Blueberry Morning. And it had like these little teeny freeze dried blueberries in there. And opening up that box was like my favorite thing because it just smelled so good, like blueberry muffins. And that's what this flavor profile is, is blueberry muffins. And it is spot on. It's, it just smells so good. Okay, so let's drip bakery blues. I feel like this one is a juice that dripping it or tanking it, you're going to love it no matter what. I feel like this appeals to a lot of different flavor profiles as well. I don't feel like this is targeted to a specific audience, like maybe people who like some cereal vapes or maybe people who just like the candy vapes or overly sweet vapes. This is kind of very broad spectrum in flavor. And it's good. Okay, so on the inhale, on the RDA, I get blueberry on the inhale and on the exhale, I get the muffin. Now, when I put it in my tank, I get the reverse of that. Um, I don't really know why, but on the exhale, I get the blueberry and on the inhale, I get the muffin. But on the RDA, it's really strong in flavor. I feel like you get almost like a crumbly, like if you have ever had a muffin that has like that crunchy, sugary topping, I don't know if that makes any sense, but sometimes muffins have like those little grains of sugar on the top and you definitely can get that. And so... Maybe it's just my brain playing tricks on me, but I feel like I'm actually biting into one of those blueberry muffins. It has that fresh baked flavor and it doesn't leave an aftertaste. It's so well mixed and very smooth. And I really enjoy this one a lot. I would say this one would be I don't know. I can't rank them all because they're all really good. They're delicious. Every single one of them. Um, but this one is definitely up there in maybe my top three. Um, but I have a couple that are tied for how much I like them. So Bakery Blues, Spot On, Blueberry Muffin. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to drip for you is Glazed. And this is a glazed donut. Okay, so for this one, I definitely get a cake donut. I don't know, I don't really think I get a yeast component to this. I feel like it's more on the cake donut flavor side. With a very light, subtle hint of vanilla and... Um, sugary sweetness that I can't really describe without sounding crazy. It just, it smells like a glazed donut. Like if you opened up a box of donut holes, that's what it smells like. So let's paint some donut clouds. Happy donut clouds. Okay. And cap that and let's vape it. Now for me, this one is definitely a tank juice. I prefer it much more in my tank than I do on the RDA. I have a really hard time picking out the flavors on the RDA with this one because it is very subtle in flavor. In the tank though, um, you definitely get that cake donut on the inhale and then there's a very smooth vanilla finish on the exhale. Uh, but with if you exhale through your nose, you get both flavors. So does that make sense? So if you exhale on the tank, when I exhale through my nose, I get the donut and the vanilla, and then it just kind of lingers vanilla with the tank. On the RDA, it's kind of subtle in flavor. And it's hard to pick up the vanilla coating on the donut. You just get a lot of donut donutiness, if that makes sense. It's really good either way. I just personally prefer it in the tank. And it's a very good first morning vape. 
with coffee. They, I found that those two go very nicely together and I have been reaching for it a lot first thing in the morning. It's really good. Also with this one, again, I don't know if it's just like my mind playing tricks on me, but I feel like when I vape this one, I can almost get that crunchiness when you bite into a fresh cake donut. It just kind of, that's what my mind goes to when I first vape this is like I'm taking a bite out of a donut, just a plain cake donut with a little bit of that glaze over top. It's really good. Very easy to vape all day. It's not overwhelming. One thing though with this juice, I wish there was just a little something more to it. And I think it would be, it would just put it over the top if there was like a little bit of a cinnamon to it, just because those go hand in hand. And, but that's a personal preference for me. I like crazy amounts of flavor and different things going on in my juices. And so for me, I feel like I would like it a little bit more if there was a little bit of cinnamon in there, or even maybe some sort of like nuttiness like a almond or something just something in there to make it more complex um, but it is a really good juice so that is glazed and the next one that I will be dripping is called cloud crunch okay with this one I'm going to have a really hard time describing this to you and that is because I've never in my life eaten excuse me hiccups I've never eaten a fruit flavored cereal. Um, it just was something that we never had in the house growing up. I've never really bought a thought to buy it because um, my mom didn't like it when I was growing up. So we never had it in the house and that kind of transferred in my adulthood. I never picked it up. I never bought it. Never even really looked at the boxes. So I feel like I'm not going to give an accurate description of this because um, my mind can't really wrap around what I'm tasting because I've never eaten it before. However, the juice is good. That I do know. So, the smell test. <sighs> okay, so coming from an unbiased standpoint on this, I feel like there's lemon in there. Lemon is the main component that I get. I don't know if that's right though. And then there's also, because there's definitely, definitely a citrusiness to it. And you can smell the milk. And there's one other flavor in there. And I know that smell, but I can't pick it out. So I don't know if it's just because, like, I remember sitting next to kids at school when we would eat breakfast at school. And they would always have, like, those little plastic bowl things that you peel the top off and the cereal's in there. And you just dump the milk in there. I remember kids eating it and I remember smelling it, but so it just, it, I mean, my husband says it's exactly like a bowl of Fruit Loops. He loves it. He thinks it's awesome. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate or not, but um, he says it tastes just like a bowl of Fruit Loops and milk. Okay, so for me on the RDA, I have tanked this too. In the tank, I definitely get lemon in there. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's accurate, but there's definitely lemon and a creaminess to it. So for me, my mind wants to say it tastes like a lemon meringue pie, but I know that's not right because there's something more to it that makes it taste like cereal. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this because I've never eaten it. I mean, it's delicious, and I definitely will go and buy a box of Fruit Loops to see if it, if that's what I'm tasting. So, again, my husband said it tastes exactly spot on like a bowl of Fruit Loops with milk. For me, my mind wants to say it tastes like a lemon meringue pie. So I'm getting, like, that creaminess, and you get a lot of, there's like a cereal, there's definitely a cereal taste in there, um, but the fruitiness is what throws me off. So... It's really good. It is a delicious juice. I just don't know what how to describe the flavor of something that I've never eaten. So it's, but it is really good. I actually probably, since I've started vaping it more and more, I've fallen in love with this juice quite a bit. Um, I have never had a cereal vape. 
before I had this one and I couldn't stop tanking it once I started to understand the flavor because at first I was like mm, that's weird to me but the more I started vaping it the more I started loving it and I actually have it in my tank right here because I've been vaping it non-stop for the past couple of days because I actually do really really enjoy it it's very smooth it's a very creamy not creamy milky and then I don't know there's just something about that lemony citrusy taste that goes really nice with the milk and it's very smooth. I don't know if I said that already. And very well blended. Like the flavors complement each other very nice in this. I lied. I did have one other cereal vape. And it was supposed to be Fruit Loops and Milk. And that was by Prism. And I, it wasn't nearly as good as this stuff. Um, this stuff is 100 times better to me anyways. So that is Cloud Crunch. Okay. And so the next one that I have here is called Sour Melon making a mess with the e-juice. Okay, so this this smells like a watermelon candy. It has a very accurate watermelon taste to it too. In the tank, it tastes like um, those little sour watermelon slices that you can get at the movie theater. So let's paint some happy watermelon clouds. Okay, this one, I love this stuff. This is a juice that I just, I also can't stop vaping this one. Okay, so through and through, perfect sour watermelon flavor. This is one that I could probably go through a bottle easily in like a week during the summer because I feel like it's a perfect summer vape. Does that make sense? Like there are some flavors that are just definitely made for winter and some that are definitely made for like hot summer days. This is a very refreshing vape. It's so smooth. And even with a three milligram nicotine, I don't get any throat hit. Actually, I don't get any throat hit with any of these, which is awesome no matter if I'm tanking it or if I'm putting it in my RDA. So, but this one is just, I don't know, there's something really good about it. It's not overly watermelony, like overpowering where it's going to give you a headache after too long. Maybe I'm the only one that gets that with certain juices, but um, it's just, it's super good. The flavor is definitely there. It's very strong, but it's not too strong where you could have a little bit and call it a day. You could easily vape it all day long. It's super good. Oh, and if you've noticed, cloud production on these juices is phenomenal. There is, um, the juices are really thick. I think most of them, if not all of them, are a 70-30. Oh, this one is a max VG of 80-20. Pretty sure the rest. Oh, they're all 80 20. Nope. Honey Hive is 60 40. Um, the watermelon is 80 20. The Cloud Crunch is 80 20. The blueberry is 60 40. The donut is 80 20. And cookie dust is 80 20. So they do vary a little bit. But they're all really good. They're all really smooth and they all have great flavor. So the last one that I have for you here is the, their other line, which is Gibson Reserve. And this is like their premium line. And it's super good. So this one is Strawberry Cotton. I'm really excited to talk about this one. Very thick juice, but I have no problems putting it in my tank. Um, this one I could put in my RDA or my tank, and I'm still going to get a great flavor no matter what. And let's cap that up. And we have happy strawberry clouds. Oh, my God. Okay. So this one. It's definitely a summer vape. Okay, so... What I noticed about this juice, there's so many strawberry juices on the market, right? 
but this one tastes like you're biting into a legitimate strawberry. I don't find that this has an artificialness to it at all. It just tastes like you're biting into a fresh strawberry. And I wasn't expecting that. Um, because it is called strawberry cotton, I had in my head that it was going to be like a strawberry cotton candy flavor. So I was expecting something sweet. So I had a really awesome surprise the first time I took a hit off of this. And it tastes just like a real strawberry. It's really good. It just, it's so smooth. And there's just something about it that makes it just easy to vape. It's really good. It doesn't remind me of anything besides a fresh strawberry. On the inhale, you get strawberry. On the exhale, you get strawberry. It's just a very true strawberry flavor and by far my favorite strawberry vape that I've ever had, hands down. It's really good. Definitely one of my top three out of all of these. Um, so that is my review. If you guys have any questions or if I forgot anything, just go ahead and comment below and I will get back to you. Um, as you can see, this video is already running super, super long. So that's why I tried to keep it as short as possible. It's really challenging. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will be back with more reviews for you, um, especially when their package arrives with the rest of their line. And I can't wait to share them with you. Uh, you won't be disappointed with it, no matter what flavor you go with. They're all really good. And even the ones that I, uh, that aren't like particularly favorite flavors of mine, they're still delicious. So anyways, that's what I have for you. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.